Hey guys, how are you? Mike Zagari here. This video is all about conversion percentage and what it means for Amazon sellers. Now, as you know, conversion percentage is the amount of people that actually purchase your product relative to the amount that actually show up on your page to view your product. So if you had 100 people look at your product and 10 people purchase, that's a 10% conversion percentage. Now, what's the average conversion percentage for Amazon sellers? Well, that is 10%. Now, that's considerably higher than if you were to sell on sites like Shopify or drive external traffic to another site. 10% is very, very high, but I've seen as high as 20, 30, even 45%. So it does depend on the type of product that you're selling. If you're selling a product with a shorter life cycle, a consumable product that people buy in month in and month out, then the conversion percentages tend to be a little bit higher because they're coming back, they're probably looking for your product, they know what they want, they land on that page, and they purchase. So that's one visitor, one purchase, your conversion percentage goes up. If the product is something that they may purchase once a year or once every couple years or maybe even once in a lifetime, they probably will do a lot more shopping so they'll get to your listing, see the reviews, see what they like, what they don't like, and probably compare the prices and then look at your competition. And that's when the pricing, the conversion percentages start to go down a little bit. So it does depend on the type of product that you are selling. One thing you want to be very mindful of is the actual reviews. Obviously, social proof is critical inside of your reviews, inside of your listing. So if you have a lot of reviews, that's always a plus. It's also good to have a nice mix of reviews. Having all five stars is probably not going to be um, perceived as credible to some of your uh, people looking at your listing. If you have a mix of three, four, five stars, that's probably really good. As long as it averages out to four stars or better, once it gets to be below four stars, you're gonna notice that your conversion percentage is going to start to taper off, which is never good. So four and stars and above, preferably four and a half stars. Obviously five stars is great too, um, with a good healthy mix of reviews. Now also, price point is incredibly important. So is your price competitive compared to your to your competition. Is there something that's different than your competition? Is your brand, is it a luxury brand? How can you improve your listing to make it more per perceivable that your product is worth more than your competition? So these are all things that you have to look into. And there's a really cool tool um, that we've used called Profit Peak. Now, this is part of the Splitly software where they can actually split test the pricing for you to see which one lend, uh, lends itself to a higher conversion rate. So this is pretty cool when looking specifically at the price point in terms of how that impacts the conversion rate. So that's really important. Obviously, listing optimization is super important. You want to make sure that you're getting your listing up in front of the most relevant audience because if you're putting your product out in front of like a totally different audience or even um, you know somebody who's maybe not be ready to buy right now, then obviously they may be shopping and browsing, but your conversion percentage may go down because they're not ready to buy. So being super relevant with your keywords, spending the time to do the keyword research right from the very beginning to know which keywords are the top keywords, um, which keywords people are using to search and buy for your product, getting them in your headline, or your title rather, getting them in your bullet points and your backend search terms, making sure that they're there but not overly stuffed with a broad, 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 broad reach of keywords where it's really not going to be targeted to the audience that is looking to purchase your product. So very important to do your keyword research, hire an amazing copywriter. Guys, this makes all the difference in the world. I have done copywriting myself for my listings. I thought it was okay, average, sounded good to me, and it got the job done. And then I had it done professionally after having done the proper keyword research. And let me tell you that makes all the difference in the world because I'm not a copywriter whatsoever and there's people that are paid to do that much better than I could ever do it. So doing the proper keyword research, the proper co uh, copywriting that lends itself to a strong call to action, highlights the benefits over the features, all the things that you guys have probably heard many, many times, that's, that's really important too. Another thing that can help is enhanced brand content does tend to improve conversion percentages just by a little bit. It's not a huge difference because a lot of people don't even make their way all the way down there, but it does make a bit of a difference if you're looking to improve your conversion percentages overall. So um, the other thing that really helps is to have a coupon. Now I've seen our, coup our per conversion percentages dramatically increase by putting a coupon on our listing. And there's two ways you can do this. You can have a clippable coupon and uh, Amazon does charge for that. Um, in the US, it's 60 cents. 
plus they charge a, um, a, a small fee. So plus actually plus the cost of the coupon. So if you do a dollar off, it'll be 60 cents plus the dollar. So a dollar 60 off of your top line profits, but it does improve your conversion percentages. So really have to play around with it to see if it's worth it. But we have found that it's definitely worth it that our conversion percentages definitely go up. So one other thing, you could have another coupon on your listing. Basically, if you have more products, you can get people to or entice people to purchase another product that's in the same product line by using a coupon. Now that could increase your average dollar, average order value very high, which is a great thing. We want more conversions. We want to increase the average order value. That's always a really obviously, obviously optimal thing inside of e-commerce. So um, you, another thing, super important, is to never obviously go out of stock. Because if somebody's coming, and this happened to us recently, it was a really uh, big lesson learned. If you have a product that people purchase month in and month out, a consumable product, and you go out of stock, they're going to start looking elsewhere. You're going to probably lose that customer, and they're not going to be coming back for the next month and the next month and the next month. So going out of stock, especially in consumable products, is never a good thing for conversion percentages because you're going to lose the customers that really just want your product or the, the people that have subscribed and saved. You know, they're not going to get your product. You're going to lose that, that, that sale. Um, of course, FBA over FBM. So if you're selling through Fulfilled by Amazon, people see the little Prime logo. And that's going to help improve conversion percentages quite a bit versus if you were selling it on your own and they don't see the Prime logo. Uh, that That's super important, right? Because people know and they trust that. They trust the Prime logo. They trust that it's going to get there in two days. They don't really know your business probably, but they know Amazon and they know Prime. So that's super important. Now, as you know, PPC Entourage does um, a lot of sponsored products. That's what we do. We help sellers with um, sponsored products and headline search ads, sponsored branding ads. And in terms of your PPC conversions, so we want the conversion rate to be at least 10%, right? So between 8 to 12% is really good for PPC conversion. Higher is better. And as you can see, here is our dashboard. We have a conversion percentage overall of 11.70%. Now, this is for PPC. just want you guys to be a little bit more uh, mindful that the PPC conversion is typically a little bit lower than the organic conversion. So let's say the organic conversion is around 20%, PPC conversion is around 10%. That's about average, about right from what I've seen. Um, it can go even higher than that. It all depends on your targeting, how good your product is, obviously how many reviews you have. There's a lot of different factors that go into it, some of which were mentioned on this video. So conversion percentage, 11.70%. Now in terms of PPC, if you're going after a more exact match type, and it's an ex a very relevant keyword, let's say you, you sell grill mats and you want to go after the exact match type of grill mats, then your conversion percentage is probably going to be a lot higher. People are looking for grill mats, you're serving up an ad about grill mats, and you are basically matching up the exact thing that they want to see and they want to purchase. As long as your listing is good, your conversion rate should be very high. Now, if it's a phrase match, it could be a little bit lower than the exact match, right? Because phrase match, there may be other words, other terms, other descriptors in there that may not be exactly what you're selling. Like maybe they're looking for a certain type of grill mats and you put in the word grill mat as a phrase match type and they, they search for something, they land on your listing, but it's not exactly what they wanted and they may bounce. It may be what they want and they may purchase it. It's still very specific, but it may not, it's not as specific as the exact match type, right? So phrase match type may have a slightly let, lower conversion than the exact match type. And then there's the broad match type. Broad match type is typically um, the lowest rate of conversion because it could match to a broad spectrum of, of less relevant keywords and search terms. So if somebody's typing in grill mats, maybe it's, it's something that's um, grill mats for outdoor use or something like a long-term uh, search term that's not as specifically related to what you're selling. And even though it is related, it may not be precisely related. So it's more of a broad match. And that means the conversion rate could be a little bit lower. So I hope this video was helpful, guys. Um, of course, if you have any comments, feel free to comment below. I would be more than happy to answer any of your questions. Keep crushing it, and we'll talk to you all soon.